Hello and welcome to our third lecture of Jupyter Notebook. In today's class, we will discuss about Pandas, NumPy and Matplotlib. Let's suppose if I want to import the Pandas library, so I will write the command import pandas as pd. So it will import this library. Similarly, if I have to import the numpy library, so I will do this thing again like import numpy as np. np is a short form of numpy. We assign this variable according to our own wish. And if I have to import matplot library, so I have write the command from mat prot library import pi prot as plt okay so let's discuss about what is pandas in python pandas is an open source python library which provide necessary support for implementing series and data from data structures a panda series is one dimensional array with homogeneous data the size of series is immutable but values are mutable a data frame is a data structure to hold two-dimensional array with heterogeneous data column. Pandas data frame is the ideal data structure for EDA and pre-processing tasks. Pandas data frame features. Let's suppose if I have to read the files like Excel and CSV in Jupyter Notebook. So what should I do? I will write this command. Data is equal to pd.read underscore excel our path where our excel is safe and our extension that is xlxx if i have to read our excel file then i have the right then i have to write this command data dot head let's do it i write data dot head and run so it will show the records of our excel but what if i have to find out the data what is the shape of this excel file how many records are there what are actually the shape so i will write the command data dot shape so it will show me that our shape is 289 comma 10 Let's suppose if I have to show the particular records in our Excel, so I will write this command pd dot set option display maximum column 50 records. Let's suppose I will do 100. So it will show me the maximum columns in our Excel file with the range of 100. If I have to check the info of our excel file, so I will have to write the command data.info. So it will show me the in our object id column, there is not any null values and the count is 289 and, it's, and the type of that column is integer 64. Similarly, they will show the all the columns in our Excel present and they will show the count, records and data type of it. If I have to write the command called data.describe, so it will show me the what is actually in this Excel is like this total count this total records are 289 where is this mean value is 145 of this object id column and this fid rarity d column mean is 14843.6 so it will show me the all columns mean standard deviation minimum value q125 percent value q2 50 percent and q3 75 percent quartile 3 75 percent and maximum value also showing so from this command data dot describe 
it will show the R data mean standard deviation and minimum values or maximum values or quartile values q1 q2 and q3 let's suppose if i have to show the records uh, like 20 records i will put this command data dot add in which i written what are the records i have to show in it so it will show me the 20 records and on the above it will show me the 10 because i write 10 into it but here i write 20 so it will show me the 20 records in it what if i have to show the data dot columns command if i have to write this value data dot columns script so it will show me the all column present in this excel object id fid field f code description field and so on so it will show me the how many columns are present in my excel file so from jupyter notebook you can easily access your data and do whatever you want to analyze your data in it let's suppose if i have to let's suppose if i have to describe or want it to show that particular field i will take shape length here and i write the command data and field name column name whatever you say and dot describe so it will show me the total counts in shape length field where this is mean value standard value minimum value and quartile one two three and so on on the above we see overall our overall column count mean standard deviation but here we see particular column their count mean standard deviation and so on let's say if i have to make the graph of any column so i have to write this command that is data i will show how i do it data square bracket and what a commas in what a commas we put column name let's suppose i will take this column fid real d dot very counts okay and then i have to put this command column name that had a pretty underscore column name and where to counts plot what i have uh, what i am doing here i am making bar graph here so i write bar and i wrote the size dimension whatever i want the size and dimension here so i put their value if i run this command so it will make a nice graph here here you go so by this command you can easily make your bar graph or any graph you want to make it this bar graph if you have to import this thing from mat plot library so then this bar graph will made otherwise it will not made so kindly import that library which i show above here so hopefully you will like our lecture today we'll meet in next class with different techniques in jupyter notebook till then bye